Terry Schaefer made 37 saves last night for Robert Morris. However, the pattern this year, they've alternated the goalies tonight. It's Dalton Isaac's turn. Isaac, the uh, junior, you look at the numbers, pretty good. 253 goals against average. They've got two really good goalies. Schaefer, I think, is their clear-cut number one, but Isaac is a great, great backup uh, and is going to get the start tonight. And let me tell you, Christian Short has got his work cut out for him. He, uh, The freshman, the 20-year-old, has got to try to slow down the top-ranked uh, the top ranked offense in the country. Danny Smith will chase after. Boncha right on him defensively. Logan gets checked. Here's Smith with Miller. Instead, he'll throw it back up top. Kukali fires. Scores! Alexander Kukali gives the Tigers a 1-0 lead. Big game, big night. They rely on the captain. Here we go. And it's the Tiger toss. Is everything going on to the ice? As Kukali, that is a nice shooter's goal. Perfect. Love the puck rotation. They have good puck movement there. And one of the captains, Kali, stepping up. Kali, last night, speaking with Stacy, really called his teammates out last night. The teddy bear toss tonight. And again, these are all going to be donated to the pediatric unit in Rochester Region. Great cause here tonight. Got to be feeling special for Alexander Kukali knowing a bunch of children are going to get teddy bears thanks to your goal. Right out of the gate, too, which is huge. A strike first. That'll settle Christian even more between the Bikes and the Tigers. Isaac's been struggling a little bit this year. Certainly Shaver's their number one goal. He was sensational last night. That's a way to score your first goal of the season. Ferguson comes up with it, bumped by Kukali. Levens, cross ice feed to Freeman. Freeman in front, two players in front. Nobody picking up Denham, and we are tied at one. Right, they had not only one, but they had two guys in front. And they forgot about Denham. They were anchored both in front. Basically surrounding the Christian Short. Look at this. I mean, look at that. You can't have you got three Tigers on one side of the ice and you left alone or two Colonials. It just can't happen. Robert Morris setting it up as Levitz. Cross ice feet, hopping over the stick of Ferguson. Freeman on the far side. Robert Morris converting on their only power play opportunity earlier tonight. Freeman fires and scores from way out. David Freeman's third of the season. Right through traffic. John, I don't think that was deflected. I, I couldn't really tell. Couldn't tell if, if there was uh, if he, any obstruction in, in, in front of Christian Short. Holland tries to get down to block it. He had a clear window. I think one too many passes. Right, right, right. Part there. I think Lynch may have had an angle to take a shot. McMullen. Backhanding in front, the rebound right in front, and put back in. After Kardakis. <laughs> the Tigers get a greasy goal, and it's tied at two. As greasy as it gets, just you know, good things happen. You can throw the puck at the, at the net. It's one of these little backhanded, right? just flip it in here. Basically, that's all McMullen's doing. And, you know, all Isaac, who's been struggling, couldn't find a handle. Duck is there for the cleanup. Lightly not letting his man off the ice. Amlock crashing down. Now he'll take it in the far corner. Great pressure here by the Tigers as Brown takes it right away. Brown in front. Score! Mile pow on the feed from the freshman, Eric Brown. They've got it working here. The passing this period has been unbelievable. The Tigers finally rewarded great work, winning all those battles. Gino for loose pucks. Here comes Brown, picking the pocket, and then slides that just perfectly in front for Powell. That's great work, set up by Eric Brown, then finding Miles Powell. Warren Flores expired, 57, remaining in the Tiger power play. Going to Denham. Kali fires, save made, rebound, pops out to the near side. Norris pushes it down to Goldberg. 
Goldberg back to Norris, fires and scores! Might have been tipped in front. It's a power play goal. And the Tigers now lead 4-2. to two. Just like the Colonials goal tonight came from out top. This time Norris is right of the point. Let's see if there's some traffic in the, in the line of Isaac. Norris wound up. Powell's in front there. Causing some havoc. I like it. There you go. Here's the shot by Holland. And the Tigers use this opportunity to change. Playing well, the Tigers kind of matching the effort being, port, uh, being put forth by the Colonials. Oh, big opportunity as Tanj could not connect from Ferguson. Still in front, Ferguson turns around and scores. It's a one goal game with 10.54 remaining. Brady Ferguson is second this weekend. Kept the puck in the zone to attack it. Feels that their offense we're gonna get something going here. Are able to slide it through there. It's tough. Look at it. Got bodies flying in front. Cam Long looking around, sends it over to Miller. Valenzuela coming up with it. A Valenzuela entering the zone. Valenzuela shoots and scores. That's why he's in the lineup for plays like that. Gabe Valenzuela gives the Tigers a two-goal lead. Kind of redeems himself, too, from those two penalties he took back in the first. He's a dynamic skater. Can he finish? That's exactly what he did right here. He finished. That's nice. Good way to keep the puck on the stick, keep his feet. Great individual effort. Now back to a two-goal lead with just over five to go. Great play by Valenzuela. Just slithered through that defense. The duck is kicking it ahead. A two on O. Sends it over to Mitchell. Mitchell going in. Scores! That's how you draw it up. That's a shorty. And the Tigers take a 6 3 lead. For Mitchell, like the lamp. Set up real nice there by Duck. Get that puck out ahead of him. Look at that. Look at Gerdukas again, working hard. And then he just kind of just slid it ahead to Mitchell. Mitchell lines up Isaac. Boom. Right over to Clove. It's well executed. Great work. Nice cushion. Three-goal lead.